Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about the confirm dialog box in JavaScript. So there are three types of dialog boxes in JavaScript. The first one is alert dialog box, second one is confirm dialog box and third one is prompt dialog box. In previous lecture we already discussed about the alert dialog box and the example program of alert dialog box and in today's lecture we are going to discuss about the confirm dialog box what is meant by confirm dialog box and then we see the example program. So before going to the example, let's see what is meant by confirm dialog box and what is the syntax of confirm dialog box. So confirm dialog box is widely used for taking the opinion from the user on a specific option. It includes two buttons which are OK and cancel. In the previous lecture, we discussed about the alert dialog box. Alert dialog box has only one button and that is a OK. But confirm dialog box has two buttons, OK and cancel. If the user wants to continue, then he clicks on OK button. And if user do not want to continue, then he clicks on the cancel button. So basically, confirm dialog box is used to take opinion from the user. For example, suppose a user is required to delete some data, then the page can confirm it by using the confirmation box that whether he or she wants to delete it or not. For example, when we delete something from our PC or from our mobile, then when we select that file and click on delete button, then there is a one dialog box appears which asks user whether he or she wants to continue or not. Okay, so when user clicks on OK, then the file is deleted and if user clicks on the cancel button then the task is cancelled. So if user clicks on the ok button the method confirm returns to true but if the user clicks on the cancel button then the confirm method returns to false. Okay the syntax of confirm dialog box is confirm in bracket message and then end with semicolon. Okay so let's see the example Okay, so here I open Notepad++. Now I am going to first write down the structure of HTML. So here the first tag, the main tag of HTML that is a HTML. Then head, inside head there, there is a title tag. And here write down the title as confirm dialog box. Then end the title. Now write down the script tag. Inside script tag, we are going to write down the code of confirm dialog box, the JavaScript code. Again, in the script tag, after that, end the head tag. After that, open body tag, then closing body tag, and then closing HTML tag. Now, first, save the program. I am going to save the file as confirm.html ok so first write down the code inside the body tag again I am going to add some of the heading tag for example h2 then write down hello world end of h2 then again h2 welcome to javascript end of h2 Okay, now again write down the next heading tag that is a h3 and write down, click on the following button, end of h3 tag. Okay, now write down the code to insert the button. So for this, write down the input tag that is a input type equal to in double quotation button. After that, I want to name the button as click me. So here write down the property as value value equal to in double quotation click me okay when user clicks on the button a new event occur that is a on click event and then we call the function for example show function so here write down on click equal to in double quotation show then end of input tag okay so this is a simple code of button now let's run this program and after that I am going to write down the confirm dialog box code. So first run the program.
okay so this is a heading tag 2 heading tag 2 and this is a heading tag 3 and then we insert one button okay so when user clicks on this button then the confirm dialog box will appear and it shows some message and two buttons that is a ok and cancel so let's write down the code for confirm dialog box okay so the function we use here that is a show function again write down here function show and then in curly bracket we are going to write down the code of confirm dialog box here i am going to declare one variable that is a variable a and which is equal to call the confirm dialog box so here write down confirm and in bracket so the syntax of confirm dialog box is in bracket in double quotation message so here in bracket double quotation write down the message for example this is a confirm dialog box okay so this is for example you can write anything here suppose you can write down are you sure you want to delete or anything as you want okay so we call the confirm dialog box and then store it in a variable a if a equal to equal to true okay now what is the meaning of this a equal to equal to true means when the confirm dialog box appears it has two buttons ok and cancel when user clicks on ok means the value is true and if the user clicks on cancel then the value is false so if user clicks on ok that is if a equal to equal to true then write down the message for example document dot write in double quotation suppose user wants to continue double quotation complete bracket complete end with semicolon and then end of if if the value is false means a equal to equal to false then write down the else part and again write down the message that is a document dot write in bracket double quotation user does not want to continue again bracket complete end with semicolon and then this is the end of else part and again end of function show okay remember once again inside the script tag we write down the code of javascript here i declare one function that is a show function and inside show function we call the confirm dialog box so the syntax of confirm dialog box is confirm in bracket message inside the variable a now if the value of a is equal to true means if the user clicks on ok then it shows the message as user wants to continue but if user clicks on the cancel button then it shows the message as user does not want to continue so this is a simple program now let's save the program and again run okay now click on the button okay so this is a confirm dialog box the message appears here that is a this is a confirm dialog box and confirm dialog box has two buttons ok and cancel ok means the value is true and cancel means the value is false if user clicks on ok button then it shows the message means the value is equal to true so it shows the message as user wants to continue again refresh the page and if user clicks on the cancel button means the value is false then the else part is executed and it shows the message as user does not want to continue okay so this is a simple example program of confirm dialog box i hope you understand if you have any query or any doubt regarding this topic then please let me know in the comment section i try to answer your all the questions